What the f*** is up, everyone, and welcome to A Micro Brew. Today, we're going to be talking about beers and other half. Yes. The brewery. Alex's favorite. Yeah. Welcome to our first micro brew. First micro brew. Actually, it's Hector's favorite, too. It's teeny if, tiny. If you've been following it along, Hector is not here. Oh, Hector had a terrible Hector spill down the stairs. A terrible spill. Literally spilled all of his pieces onto the oh, floor. Oh, he's still in traction. We're building him back He'll be up. back. He'll be back. We'll bring him back. He'll be uh, better and newer than ever. We have the technology. We, ha- we can rebuild him. We can rebuild him. So this is a new approach that we're going for. If you checked out our last episode, episode 70. Uh, and, and listen until the very last minute. Yep. Das ist Brandewein. Uh, Brandewein. Excuse me. Don't want to offend our, <laughs> yeah, don't offend Dutch, the Dutch, our Dutch listeners. Our Netherlands um, people. Going forward, again, Alex and I will be providing a full-length episode uh, once a week, but we're going to be having a couple of uh, micro-reviews here and there, a little chit-chat, mostly focusing of, of on a the beer. to be determined number. Yeah, yeah. You'll see at least one in your you'll, feed a week. You'll get them. In yeah. any event, make sure that you go ahead and you like and subscribe wherever you are currently listening to you, over on YouTube at Beers and Podcast. Check us out on TikTok and on Instagram at Beers and Podcast Definitely. as well. Not going to want to miss this beer because we are having other half, like we said. So this is uh, part of their dual hop series. Ooh. They, they do a lot of these. So it's called Citra and, oh, no, I'm sorry. It's called Strata and eclipse Ooh. so nick and i have never had an eclipse hop never even heard of an eclipse hop until today i'm gonna show you the can real quick i'm excited for you this thirsty bastards um yeah I'm, <laughs> I'm hyped too hyped to try this hop uh so i've had a few of these at this point i've had a few of the dual hop series and they're interesting i prefer the single hop series because i prefer to like try it on its own right and like know you know what it tastes like but the double one's nice because they do a nice mix of of hops. They've done like Matuka and Citra. They've done Mosaic and Simcoe. They've huh. done like all sorts. Yeah. So we're getting Eclipse, which is new. Right. And what did I say? Strata. And Strata. So I know Strata. Like, I don't know if you're too familiar with it. We've had it a couple different times, we I have. believe. I've had it, uh, I think, more than you. Uh, no, not to flex. But it is, I found that it's more of like a dank hop I was on, on the say, back note isn't king julius has quite a bit might have had of, stra- i have no yeah, idea strata at that this seemed point. so long ago but it, that was so tasty so uh i'm just thinking out loud in this new uh kind of iteration of beers and really gives you the opportunity to give us a beer to try out oh yeah that'd be cool so we would really appreciate again some folks have a good friend of ours a friend of the pod nicole has gone ahead and provided us with a couple different uh beers to go ahead and try out in the past um i know that my cousin sean has been trying to sean still waiting on that package doing a great job sean doing a great job sean just kidding all right so uh, we've got, but anybody sorry, go again give us uh give us a couple of recommendations we would love to try out Chobia. All right, so we've got Strata and Eclipse hops here, and this is an 8.5% um, ABV, double IPA. It is double dry hopped. I don't know if I said that or not. Mm-hmm. but I, Okay, so right away, I smell the Strata. Strawberry, mm-hmm. cannabis-y. Am I allowed to say that? Yeah, it's legal. Yeah, it's in the legal state in like seventy percent of the yeah. United States at this point. And even before, who cares? Yeah. Really, so super like dank, cannabis-y, like note in there and like a big strawberry like forward front tone i love the haziness of this and it's this such a beautiful, beautiful color this it's looks beautiful. it's super distinct because it's not yellowy it's like straw yellow gold yes. yellow golden rod gold absolutely rod. yeah cheers sir. cheers It's very delicate. It's soft. Yeah. Yeah. It's soft. I, I wouldn't have expected it necessarily to be as kind of palatable, if I you will. I think you could give me any other half beer. No. You could give me any other half IPA and blindfold me and be like, who made this? And I would tell you because they're, all their beer is soft. I think it's impressive at this point where I can honestly say that you have turned me into such an incredible, incredible fucking beer snob snob yeah as if i had i don't already think who the hell i am in my one bedroom non uh you know uh central ac abode but <laughs> it's definitely no ac in here definitely no. although it's, it's much cooler lovely than lovely in much here cooler. right now yeah 
Yep. Um, but this is this is a very again very nice IPA. I yeah. think I would give this to someone that is just starting to kind of t uh, like dip their toes into more craft beers mm. because there are there is some nuance to it yeah. in terms of the hops and 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 you know especially the strata coming through. I will say it's it's a much bigger strawberry note than I remember. Maybe I'm, it's just this beer. Now that that second uh, hop was what exactly? So that's Eclipse. Okay. Um, I we haven't had this before. This is very new to us. Uh, I think it's new to a lot of people. I don't know what I'm getting from it, if anything. So I will admit that I cheated, um, but I but now that I have read the notes, the flavors of this hop, I do taste it. So Eclipse has a uh, big mandarin flavor sweet oh, mandarin shit. orange zest wow then you know um, what it it is not it is not shy no it delivers in that flavor yeah it yeah, it comes through. yeah yeah it's, it's and like honestly i get the orange like the zest and like i feel like pith you know i like, was gonna say because it's got a little bit of that sourness because a mandarin yeah. orange is it's sweeter very for the most part and i always think a little bit sour too I, I guess you know I'm a big Clementine guy, so I've had more th those okay. more than I've had mandarins. I guess mandarin. I guess I've always associated with being a lot like a uh, almost like a an orange grapefruit, if that makes any sense at all. Yeah. And that's what I feel like I'm getting. And I'm from getting this. some of that grapefruit, like kind of grassy grapefruit zesty very flavor. Nice. Yeah, I've got to I mean, say, this is, this is really balanced. Um, I actually I like Eclipse, and I think I like it with the Strata next to it. Yeah, I, I was gonna say they complement each other very well. There's nothing, yeah. you know, it's it's they're not so distinct that they're combating one another. They're complementing each other. Little little mind meld. Yeah, yeah, a good president and vice president. Yeah, mm. not the ones we have, but like you know, <laughs> reaching into the past here. People. Reaching right, exactly, exactly. If I could hand select, yeah, the just vice a president and president. Yeah, yeah, if, uh, and. Well, I can't think of any in recent history that I'd exactly be over the moon about. I just keep thinking I'm like George Washington. George Washington. George, George, George Washington. Washington. Okay. Yeah. For All my right. president. Yeah. All right. Um, no, this is really good. Um, I will say that the untapped grade out of just under 1,100 check-ins is just under um, or just over 4.15, 4.16. Is that where you're sitting? Uh, yeah. You know, I would definitely say it's just about for me between a four and a four two, which I guess would make that a four one. Um, it is nice. I do like, I feel like I could almost use a little bit more of a, of a fruit, a distinct fruit flavor coming through. Yeah. You know, um, now that it's warming up, the bitter orange flavor yeah. is coming through very strong. It's interesting because it almost teeters on almost like a Christmas sort of orange spice if you type put, of flavor. If oh, you put, um, down. my goodness, the wind. If you put cloves Ooh. and cinnamon in here, Ooh. you'd probably have like a, yeah, you'd almost have like a mold I like that. kind of yeah. kind of feel. Do you want to play a quick game with me real quick? Oh, I would lo I love games. So we are recording on uh, August the 8th. So it is 8-8, eight, eight, if anything. So this Palindrome. is from a uh, my, my financial... Uh, newsletter I get every day from the Morning Brew, uh, ironically enough. Okay. Um, oh, I like that. So they've got a game at the end of every you know uh, newsletter. So this one is Crazy Eights. Um, so all the questions are related to the number eight. Oh, cool. Okay. So now there are five questions here, folks. I have not looked through all the questions or the answers, so I am playing along with Alex blind. right now. You can play along as well. Playing blind. Spiders have eight legs. But how many eyes do they typically oh, have? I, it's so many. I have no idea. 32. Ooh, I was going to just say 20. So, okay. I would say 32. Okay. Or 64. Okay. Athletes in which league compete in the octagon? Oh, uh, UFC. Right. MMA, right? Yeah. MMA. Okay. Yep. Uh, who was the eighth president of the oh, U.S.? I'm so bad at this. Okay. Washington, Jefferson. Nope. Washington, <laughs> Adams, Adams, Jefferson, Jefferson, Adams, Madison, Madison, Adams, Monroe, Fuck. Adams, Quincy Adams, <laughs> six. Okay. Uh, Cleveland. No, Van Buren. Fuck. No, Van Buren. I never learned these for the record. Oh, it, I'm going to say it's, oh, it's not. Is it Franklin Pierce? 
Oh, I'm going to... One more time. No, it's, I think it's William Henry Harrison. I don't know. I'm going to go William Henry Harrison. I, okay. I, I got very unnecessary. I'm sticking with Grover Cleveland. You say Grover Cleveland. I'm going to say William I don't Henry think Harrison. Right. All right. A telephone number ending in five eights sold for $325,000 in this country, which considers eight a lucky number. With five eights? Like, why not just the one with seven eights? True. Well, because I guess 888-8888 was probably taken already. Right, but if I'm going to pay $300,000, I want all eights. That's true. Yeah. That is true. Um, I don't know why I want to say India, but India. Ooh, okay. That's kind of interesting because I was thinking somewhere like Where, really? in, in like the, the like Southeast like area? Asia. Or, I don't know why I'm that's gonna sticking go, out in my head. I'm going to go Indonesia then. Okay. Okay. All right. And then uh, the last one. Who directed the 2015 film The Hateful Eight? Oh, that's an easy one. It's Quentin Tarantino. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I know that one. All right, ready I for know the... anything Quentin Tarantino. Ready for the answers? Yeah. Okay. Got the first one. Uh, so the first question I had asked was, uh, spiders have eight legs. How many oh, eyes do they this. typically have? It's also eight. Oh. Right? Okay. Well, I mean, I was there with the multiple of eight. That is true. Athletes in which league compete in the octagon. Money. We got that. UFC. Money. Oh, I was so close. Who was the eighth president of the U.S.? Martin Van Buren. You were. You did I say that. I said that he was the seventh and he was the eighth. He was also known as the little magician and the... That uh, could. Uh, and uh, he was also known as uh, uh, something from Kinderhook. He was from Kinderhook, New York. Okay. Now that the I've little I magician embarrassed from myself... Kinderhook. I'm surprised I'm not a virgin sometimes. <laughs> that was probably loud. Sorry. Uh, a phone number ending in five eight sold for three hundred and twenty five thousand dollars in this country, which considers eight a lucky number. You said India. I said Indonesia. It's China. Oh, OK. And then uh, who directed the 2015 film, The Hateful Eight? That's money. Quentin, Quentin Tarantino. Tarantino. Yeah. So realistically, um, we only got... You uh, got close to 80% right. Not particularly. I mean, realistically, you and I got the same amount right. We both got the athletes in the octagon and who directed the Hateful Eight. I got a little bit closer with who's the eighth president of the United States, but there's a big difference at the end of the day uh, between them. So, you know, shame, shame, shame. You know, that just goes shame, to show shame. you... Oh, this, duh, this... the seventh president is Andrew Jackson. What a fucking idiot. Should we know that because he has yes, seven letters sh- in his last name? Okay, how... Okay, the Rain Man. <laughs> <laughs> well, you said you made it yeah, sound Jackson, so obvious. Yeah, Jackson definitely seven letters in the last you made name. It Jackson. sounds so obvious, like oh, it's got to be Andrew Jackson. Like okay, because oh, <laughs> everybody like gets their rocks off for uh, like Andrew Jackson. Stonewall. Oh, good lord. Uh, what are you gonna throw on this? You Have know, we thrown uh, you know, Nick, grades on this? I uh, I haven't. You haven't. I am. I don't think you have either. I thought I said four point. You did. One. You're you're right okay. in the middle. Yeah, I didn't. Uh, I'm gonna say. Yeah, I'm probably right in the same spot. Four point one two, just because I don't want to give the same number as Untapped. Okay, I can. And I actually that. think it's a little less than four point one six. It is very nice. It's really nice. Um, Eclipse hops. I would go for. So they're all, they're Australian. Australian for hops. Yeah. That was not good. They're that from down under. Don't don't don't. don't. No. Can we can we agree that uh, Southern Hemisphere hops are oh always than? significantly significantly yeah, I think so um, this was good can't wait to do another one yeah folks we'll see you guys for the next one thank you very much for joining us for our first micro first micro brew come on give us some suggestions of what else to try out we're either gonna like it or we're gonna right take and a big you, old and you didn't brew it. it so it don't matter <laughs> <laughs> big old dump. <laughs> Oh God! That hasn't happened in a long time. We're overdue for uh, for a shitty one. Hey, oh. so, sorry, sorry to say. He's making scat jokes. We, we got jokes. We got jokes, <laughs> gentlemen, ladies. Goodbye. Stay classy.